Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Well, we got the Vantage on the truck last night. It was pretty damn dark, so I didn't really take much in the way of video. But uh, uh, right now, we're just draining the last of the fuel out of it. It, uh, it had about half a tank in it when I got it. Just had a weird smell to it. Um, I don't know if it was old or what the deal was, but just kind of had a funky smell to it. And uh, I drained out... Uh, about 10 gallons or so, so far, and uh, uh, it looks like it's finally below the E mark there. I don't know how much is uh, left in it, but uh, I think the total tank is about 20 gallons, and um, yeah, I'm hoping I'm getting close to the end there. Uh, some of it I've been using in the tractors, but then the rest of it uh, i just been dumping in my waste oil bucket. Probably not the smartest thing to throw it in the tractors, but um, I just kind of wanted to burn through it. I don't know if it's just old or what the deal is, but I don't know how long this guy has been sitting there, but uh, it's a little bit wider than my 250. This is the outline from having the 250 on there. So you can see it's a little bit wider. Much, much shorter though. But uh, I was able to use one of my bolt holes already. Um, the way I built my bed here, I could just drill a hole right there and there's a support underneath the uh, decking here that'll tie into no problem. Um, same thing on the other side, shop cat. Um, yeah, just butt the bracket there up against the uh, thing there, and as you can see, it's just a little bit wider than an SA2 uh, 250 mounting holes. Much wider overall than a 200, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to get the Vantage on here and get it uh, going on it or get some use on it next week. I had been running the SA2 or 200 rather. Um, I think I ended up with about 15 or so hours on it. Um, since, uh, yeah, since I did the overhaul, uh, and, uh, so far it is running awesome. It hasn't used a drop of oil. Uh, the only thing, I had forgotten just how thirsty that thing is. Um, it seemed like when I'm working up there at the oil rig doing a bunch of air arcing, I'm running about eight gallons of fuel a day, which is, or, uh, yeah, which is kind of getting expensive, so I figured I'd throw the Vantage on here. I was going to put this on my other truck and, uh, just kind of mount it behind the cab. However, the bed on the other truck is rotten uh, pretty bad, and I'm afraid that the extra weight on there is just going to kind of crush some of the cross members on the bed, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to do at this point. I'm just going to figure something out, but uh, for the time being, I'm just going to run it on the uh, run it on the red truck here. I think I'm going to be working up there for sort of the foreseeable future. Anyway, we're just waiting on the fuel to drain, taking it over, dumping it in the waste oil bucket. Uh, I do need to get some new leads for this guy. Um, I was reading where I don't think they do very well if you have kind of like old crappy leads like this that are different sized and different lengths. So uh, I may, uh, if anybody has an opinion uh, on Superflex versus just Flexaprene, I've been thinking uh, Indian Oxygen has a 250 foot spool of one aught Flexaprene, or not Flexaprene, uh, Superflex for like 700 bucks. So I may just go ahead and get a, uh, a spool of that, cut it in half, and have 125 foot for each of my things. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. I hope everybody has a good Monday.